Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day on today's episode. And remember, we're doing this by age now, so we're going to look at dating profiles of the 24 to 35 year old delusional women. We always just do this by... Uh... So we had a bunch of new subscribers yesterday. I want to thank you all. Thanks for joining the channel. And uh, we always start with a great profile here on Dating Delusions. This is the great profile today. She is 24. She just lists her Instagram, doesn't have much written about herself. She just, you know, obviously she's a beautiful, beautiful woman. Uh, you know, looks great in a bikini here. She continues. She then says, I get way too excited about avocados, man. That's just the way to do it. Light and friendly, no reason to go negative, no list of requirements. She's very attractive. She, you know, very nice lips. She's got her hair long, undone. This is her final picture. And this is a great picture, by the way, for men and women to have like the sunset behind her. It looks like she's very inviting, like, hey, come, come to the beach with me, ma'am. You're doing it absolutely correct. Let's give her a round of applause. And we've said this over and over again, let the men come to you, ladies, just put some good, good pictures out there. Don't list all your requirements and all your drama, but that is not the norm. Let's get into the nonsense. So she's 29 says, hi, I love truth, learning, growing, traveling, good food, healing, nature, cosmos, astrology, syn syn syncretism, plants, holistic, natural medicine, things like that. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> Well, ma'am, that's a bunch of crap. <laughs> the astrology's not real and good. I mean, good for you to like all this stuff, but it's pretty dumb. Also, to say truth and then mix science and nature with astrology. Stop the cap. Yeah, sorry, ma'am. Got to call you on that. Uh, she continues. I'm a certified holistic nutritionist. Wow, another job I've never heard of, ma'am. Sure. Good for you. She continues. I have one beautiful, almost perfect, almost seven year old. Literally my best friend. She's brilliant and bright. Kind and funny, just like her mom, laugh out loud, ma'am, you just gave us a single mom starter pack. <laughs> ma'am, we don't care about your kids. I'm sorry to tell you. Good for you that you love your kid. Look, it's very noble, but men don't care about your kids. Just Yardy says kids down here. I mean, <laughs> we just don't care. Now you can see down there too, she says restaurants and shopping, so we know what all that means and she's gonna continue. I would love to meet someone old-fashioned, loyal, passionate. I don't like douchebags. Man, we know exactly who you keep choosing. If you keep matching with Chad, then you're going to get pumped and dumped. That's just the truth. Chad is never going to commit to you, ladies, especially with a single mom at 29. I mean, you're not to the wall yet, but really, ma'am, stop just swiping on Chad. If you want someone maybe to be a you know beta bob or you know deal with your kid, you're gonna have to not be with the hottest dudes in the app. But that's all you ladies do. You swipe only four and a half percent of the time, and then Chad won't commit, and then you get on here and start complaining about douchebags. Not on my watch, ma'am. No way. How about new? We continue. So she's 27. It's about me. Loves having fun. Down the earth. Loves money. One million dollars. <clears throat> Man, what the hell are you talking about? You're saying, you literally just said down to earth and then next said loves money. <laughs> You're so damn down to earth and you wouldn't care about money. Why would you put this? Then go make your own damn money, ma'am. It's see, this is the thing. All these ladies who, again, want the benefits of womanism and the benefits of traditionalism, you can't have both. If you want love money so much, become fit, feminine, friendly and get a husband and he'll, you know, work and take care of the house. But see, I would, this, this alone is such a this. Red flag, stop. Yeah, very unattractive, ma'am, continue. So she's 35, this is about me. I'm local, single and down to earth. Oh, she also says down to earth. And then she says, love coffee, hugs, and then vacations. I'm gonna go. Stop, stop it all. Yeah. Man, we know what that means when you put something like this. We know exactly you're saying, I want a guy to take me on traveling. Why should he? What are you, if, you know, she's got this massively filtered picture up here. Like again, says she's down to earth, but why, why is your picture so filtered or so damn down to earth with your leopard print on, ma'am? She continues. She then says, my personal hell is bad attitudes. Oh, oh poor modern women. And then, confirms exactly what I said and says the quickest way to my heart is spoil me. One million dollars. <clears throat> well, gentlemen, the mo 
modern woman. You see, you saw what you know the first video there. You think they're all that. Think you know, like she. I bet she'd marry herself too. That's it. And we've said this on the channel so many times. So many modern women would would marry themselves. You saw that lady actually go do it. And same thing with this lady. Yeah, spoil me. No, thank you, ma'am. We continue. So she is 39, and by the way, gentlemen, this might, I, I don't know, this is going to get close to making the Dating Delusions Hall of Fame, this, this gal here, but uh, I had an even better one for the end, but here we go. She says, fairly nomadic, forever learning and growing, no kids and don't want them, metalhead, tattoos, pets, and I, I think those are two cats and two snakes. It's hard to see what their dumb emoji there, but yeah, she has two snakes, yeah. Okay, now she can continue. I'm not into a lot of TV movies, but will watch K-dramas. Not into K-pop, anime. Not into K-pop. And then it says anime and documentaries. Okay, sure, ma'am. I mean, God, you sound like a child. Whatever. Continues. Liberal but not Democrat. Introvert, INFJ. And then she gives her dumb astrology symbol. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell, right, <laughs> let me tell you. We don't care. Damn, this is coming pretty, your sounds kind of crazy. She's gonna continue. Of course, she's Slytherin because she likes snakes. Yep. Video games sometimes. Friends first. Bruh. Ma'am, no one makes you not be friends first, but I guarantee you're swiping above your price range because you all you women only swipe four and a half percent of the time. So you're probably matching with Chad. He's not committing to you. She continues. All the love language. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you do like the one where you get free stuff, ma'am. Yeah, it's great. And then she says, I'm a thick girl, but not obese. That's a huge bitch. Ma'am, I bet you are. She, of course, never gave a full body picture in this, you know, just to hide herself. She continues, car and job. Oh, good, ma'am. You're a full-fledged adult. Here, I have this for you. <laughs> and then she's going to man shame. I hope you're ready. No alpha male BS or toxic masculinity. Or... Here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could shut the f up. Oh, you already know it's getting good, but she's not done, boys. She has a whole monologue of her drama and trauma. I hope you're ready. Here we go. She then says, I'm a goth girl at heart and sometimes fashion. I love deep conversation. Small talk stresses me out. My past relationships have been emotionally, physically, and mentally neglectful. So I would need a lot of patience and guidance to relearn affectionate and caring. Why don't you go get therapy then and not put this in your dating profile? This is not Reddit. <laughs> Maybe you just don't get it. This isn't Reddit. <laughs> so yeah, she's going to continue with this nonsense. I hope you're ready. Been single a few years. Never married. I love cooking, but I, I'm on a serious weight loss journey. Yep, it gets exactly. That's a huge bitch. Sure, ma'am. Continues. I have a serious allergy to alcohol. True story. And so no serious drinkers. I'm 420 friendly but not a frequent user myself and not impressed by people that make it their entire personality. Sure, ma'am. Boy, what do you like? <laughs> She's gonna just, then watch how negative she goes here too. Also not impressed by people that make fashion their, and uh, something got cut off here, I guess their entire personality. So she can complain about that. Oh, okay, sorry. Fashion their entire personality. Highly impressed by men, secure in their own sexuality and in touch with their emotions. Not interested in dom, sub, or poly open relationships, but I respect both. Not too fond of messy people, deep connection preferred over money and materialism. Star and moon gaze are witchy, but not a heavy practitioner. Ma'am, I have this for you. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> Ma'am, go work out your stuff, okay? I mean, sure, you don't like... Just like everyone else, certain things you don't like and certain things you do, you had to list it all in your dating profile. This is not Reddit. She continues. She then says, my personality type is introverted. Man, we got it already. I like a lot of alone time and enjoy being alone. I struggle with overly so social people and situations. And ma'am, then why do you need a man? <laughs> Go be alone. We don't need you. Are you serious? She continues. The best thing I can cook is curry worst. I love it and love making it. I enjoy world foods beyond the basic burger. Sure, my God. <laughs> oh my God, she continues. One movie I can watch over and over again is V for Vendetta, Jurassic Park, and Schindler's List. Ma'am, it said one movie. <laughs> Bruh. But she continues. 
She then says, my favorite book is The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yep, because you're perpetually 12 years old, ma'am. Every single film version is a crime against the novel. I said what I said. Ma'am, you just seem so fun. Oh, boy. Gentlemen, I'll, I'll link I'll, I'll link her <laughs> dating profile in the description. You can find it there. I'm kidding. She continues, I'm not looking for someone who, not afraid of change. That's a big thing. Likes foreign food and travel. In general, someone patient and cumulative. Ma'am, we know what that means. One million dollars. <clears throat> And you see this from modern women at times too, gentlemen. They want everything. They want this side and that side of every topic. She's like, I don't like this, but I like this. It's almost the same side of the coin. You just, ma'am, you need therapy, okay? I'm just gonna be real blunt. You need therapy. Go take, get your stuff taken care of. It's not on men to do this. You chosen the, I'm sure goth bad boy, Ch you know, Ch tatted up Chad, and he's come over and pumped and dumped you, and now you're gonna dump it all on your dating profile. It's so unattractive. And yes, does she still get guys who swipe? Of course, they're still thirsty sims to be with her, but like, absolutely, ma'am, you need some help. Continue. She's 32 and says, about me, you owe me a drink. I dropped mine when I saw you. Okay, that actually was kind of witty, gentlemen. And I was like, wow, I wasn't even, she was not gonna make the show until I saw her next picture. She then says, it's meant to be if you take me to Disney World. I'm gonna go. Stop, Stop it all. Ladies, I don't know what to tell you. Putting this in your dating profile and like what you, you you expect men to take you on trips or first dates on you know in Paris. We've seen it all on this channel. If, you, if you're new to the channel, go look at the past episodes. We've seen so many ridiculous requests by women on men, and then they're like, "No, I just want an average guy." No, you don't. You're all swiping on rich chads and then expecting them to take you around the damn world, ma'am. You are this. That's a huge bitch! Not taking you anywhere, except to, to the gym, to get fit, feminine, friendly, continue. So then says, I'm hoping you love ice cream as much as I do. Well, ma'am, we sure don't. And you don't need any more. You're goddamn right. We continue. So she's 31, you can see, first of all, she's this. That's a huge bitch! And then you see, she didn't even, I mean, look at this. She didn't even clean up. I don't know where this is. I guess she, it looks like the bathroom, but it looks like a kitchen with all of her stuff in here. Ma'am, clean up. What is this crap, ma'am? Clean up your bathroom. You see no domestic skills, but of course she's gonna say, some bunny, spoil me, I'm bored. Hit me up if you need to reach me, ma'am. I have this for you. If you're new to the channel, we talk about this all the time on the channel. Average women right now are swiping way above their price range constantly. They're all swiping on the most attractive men and then they're putting crap like this. Ma'am, no one is gonna spoil a size 26 woman unless he's 80 years old. Because it's only because you're 31, not because you're attractive. You can't even clean up your own house and then you, and if you're so damn bored, go clean your damn house, ma'am. How about try that? Love it! Yeah, there you go. Go, you'll be unboarded. Also, she's got this. I'm a PhD. Yeah, we don't care, ma'am. Yeah, good luck to you, continue. He is 32 and says, my most controversial opinion is no uterus, no option. Black lives matter, A cab. trans lives matter, abolish ice. Oh my God, who the hell cares? Another woman who thinks this is damn Reddit or her own Facebook, ma'am, this is your dating profile. We don't care about this crap. Even if this is your opinion, who cares? Why would you need to put it in your damn dating profile? She continues. She then says, well, get along if you can accept that people can be bitten to things that you're not into and let people be people. Example, I like anime and manga, reading smut and wide taste in music. How about new? Damn, we don't care. I mean, good for you. Ma'am, also, what is with this filter? But you look like a ghost. <laughs> I don't get, why would you filter your picture so badly when you look like a damn ghost? Also good, you're into some crap, who cares? She continues though. She then says, I want someone, this is just a continuation of the last one that ranges from Tupac to Don Williams. If you don't like any of them, it doesn't mean you're superior. Ma'am, I have this for you. That's why you would buy a dog and die alone. You can see this classic modern woman, her, look at these pictures. Down here, she's frowning at us like some sort of horror movie weirdo with her dumb cat, eye, cat ears. Ma'am, go get help. 
Another woman who also needs to get the therapy, you're this. The bitch is crazy. <laughs> who swipes on these women? I, that's what I never understand, gentlemen. When I see some of these, who the hell swipes on these people? I, I just, I cannot imagine even being in the same room with this person for three seconds without just going crazy and continue. So she's 32 and says, about me. I desire intellectual stimulation and free spirit. Okay, ma'am. My career is an emotional, mental investment that I adore. Okay, great. We don't care. Balance and self-care are vital for me, so I need fun, play, and rest for balance. Sure, ma'am, get to the damn point. Educated and silly, spoiled, and independent. Oh, hell no! Ma'am, if you don't need no man, then go be alone. Go, you know, go marry yourself, just like that other chick. Try that. That. Classy and ratchet, warm and candid, with a heart. Red flag, stop. Yeah, just what all we always wanted, ma'am. Ratchet, spoiled, independent women. <laughs> oh my God. Nope. Yeah, it's, it's uh, so inviting, ma'am. Just sound, just, you just sound like a hoot. Man, just a good time here for, for men continue. She is 27 and says about me, locals only please. Likes tall, nice smile, tattoos, piercings, intelligent, good sense of humor and foreign accent. Man, we know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, but see, ma'am, you're this. That's a huge bitch! God's not gonna wife you, I promise you. Also, you see down here, she continues, dislikes filters, liberals, Scorpios, pretty boys, and mullets. The bitch is crazy! <laughs> ma'am, you are not conservative. There is nothing about your picture that is conservative. You have your boobs out and your tongue sticking out of us and you think Chad is gonna commit to you. You can't make this shit up. You can't yeah. make this shit up. Yeah, Chad. Here you go. Here, you want to take uh, blimp out here and her stick her tongue out and she's. Uh, by the way, don't. But don't be a Scorpio, Chad. See, take a test. Take a step back. All these ladies putting all these requirements and what we've talked about many, many times in the channel. They all fly out the window when they see a guy they're highly attracted to. All this crap is for basically guys that she's not as attracted to. If the guy, she, if she's out at Dave and Buster's, because that's what she says next, Dave and Buster's is half price on Wednesdays, who's up for a challenge. If she's out at Dave and Buster's and Chad walks up to her, she will not care about his politics. She will not care if he has a mullet. She will not care if he's a Scorpio. It's just so stupid to put this, and you're all delusional by putting it in the first damn place. You're goddamn right. We continue. This is the final one day, boys, and she's going to yell at us the entire time. I hope you're ready. I'm going to read it in her dumb voice. Here we go. About me. I am not a hookup or a one night stand. I'm on disability and can't drive. I don't have kids but want to be a mom. My dating history sucks, so my long term dating requires some long term dating for me to trust and consider being serious with someone. If any of this is an issue, please don't message me. Please. Ma'am, what in the hell is this? You have got to be kidding me. Is this real, ma'am? You have to be trolling. <laughs> oh my God. Hang on, hang on a sec. Red alert, all hands to battle stations. Ma'am, why would you think a man, first of all, you're 39, almost about to get here. Into the danger zone. And you're well past here. The ball, the ball, the ball. No man on earth can make, make it fall. And you smoke weed all the time, would put babies in you when you act like this. I mean, do you have any sort of understanding about yourself whatsoever? Just no, no ma'am? But she continues. And you know, here she is frowning at us, and of course she is this. That's a huge bitch! And then going, I will never shut up about cartoons and my family. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Yeah, ma'am, you're not even a grown up. Grown ups don't yell at the other people who want something from them. You want a man that you're attracted to, to put babies you and marry you, and you're gonna yell at us in your dating profile. Tough crap if whatever's happened to you, ma'am, you absolute Looney Tunes, but she continues. Now you can see her room here. This is, a, now remember, she does not have kids. She's got like posters on her ceiling of like stars, like a 15 year old, which confirms exactly what I said when she's like, I like cartoons. And then so the world would be better place with more compassionate people. Ma'am, do you have any sort of <laughs> introspection whatsoever? I'm going to send you on your damn way.
Gentlemen, seriously, some of these are so bad. We really do. We, it, it, they just seem to be troll. Yeah, I, I just, I mean, obviously she needs some help as well. But to sit here and she complains about men when she wants to get married and have kids at 39 years old. She's not fit, not feminine, not friendly, and also, you know, like perpetually a 15 year old. I mean, who, I just can't believe anyone even goes to these people's houses. I mean, how desperate would you have to be? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Anyway, I will leave it there for today. Thank you again for watching another episode of Dating Delusions. I really do appreciate all the support and all the new subscribers. Thanks for joining the channel. If you have not yet subscribed, you're enjoying my content, please go ahead and do it now. It's free to do and it really helps me out. And I will see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.